you may have noticed some parts of the Lake Michigan shoreline have black sand. Now, it may look unsettling, but tonight, 13 on your side, Ottawa County reporter Keely Lovern tells us why it's nothing to fear and that it actually makes a cool science experiment. It's not an oil spill. And it's not mud. So what are these black streaks we see along the beaches? It's actually a pretty interesting regular part of our Lake Michigan sand. A part of the sand that separates itself when it meets a magnet. Ooh, it's moving. It. So it's appropriately called magnetite. And it's what brings that blackish color. That's the magnetic component of that sand. You can move it like this, kind of stand it up. Well, the reason you see it banded on the beach like that and kind of looking like that is because of how it gets sorted by the wind and the waves. So it's its size, its weight. Carlson says for all the sand here on Lake Michigan, about one to three percent is made up of that magnetite. So for every 100 grains of sand, there's about two of those grains that'll be black. So what makes up the rest of our sand? This is predominantly quartz, probably 90% quartz, which gives it that color that we associate it with, that tan color. And the rest is a little less than 10% of the mineral called feldspar, mixing in those other colors. Um, do you see anything like reddish orange in there? Really, yeah. if you look yes. close? There's... Carlson says magnetite isn't necessarily only found on Lake Michigan, but it's the unique sand mixture that makes it special to this body of water. That the mix of, of things that go into our sand is unique to this place. And I think when you experience parts of what makes up that unique thing, um, it gives you a little bit better sense of place and helps you appreciate what's here. Reporting in Ottawa County, Keely Lovern, 13 on your side.